God willing, we make it into 20, 30, 20, 40, 20, 50. What are the people studying this moment gonna say about us? Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. In this one, I wanted to share my predictions. Leave me yours down below. Remember, keep it respectful. You can agree to disagree. Just let me know down below respectfully. My first prediction is, I mean, I live in the six, so this relates to Toronto. Our round two of phase two that we're in right now is not gonna be just 21 days, as they say, is looking more like three months and not so much three weeks. I was a fool to believe in March 2020 that it would only be two weeks. Everyone around me is like, nah, girl, it's not gonna be two weeks. It ended up being six months. So now I say it's probably gonna be until April or May. Sometimes it still snows on Mother's Day. So I think it needs to get a little sunny and balmy here before they start to open things back up. And I really feel for the small businesses. This phase two is so convoluted. Certain things can stay open at half capacity. Some things max is five, other things not at all. Then something else can stay open. And I said, does the virus follow directions? I'm confused. I, I don't understand why this can stay open. This is 50% and this can't open at all. My next prediction relates to Toronto, but the whole globe too. This booster thing, we're on booster three. They're already talking about booster four. This is gonna be an annual thing, if not semi-annual for those who are high risk. I'm neither pro or anti-vax. I'm in the middle, I mind the business that pays me. I'm just telling you how I see it. I might not see much because I'm legally blind, but what I've seen so far lets me know I have enough foresight to know this is going to be like all the other vaxes that we've had before where there's going to be boosters. But instead of 10 years like MMR, I think it's going to be every 10 months, 12 months, or maybe even six months. I'm not in any rush to get the booster. If you watch a vlog where I got the second shot and I nearly died, then you know why. But again, I respect each person on each side, their decision. If I need to travel, shot, 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 everybody. Okay, maybe not that eager, but like, there will be a crossroads where either fully vaccinated is now three shots or a booster in the time intervals they say, or whenever it's time to go abroad. And then I'll make my decision. But as it stands, as long as I'm safe and sanitary and secure, respectful with it and responsible, let me just sit with my two doses for a year, okay? Just, just one year, it hasn't even been a year. My third prediction is the press is gonna further polarize both sides. Like I said, I'm in the middle. I don't really have a dog in the fight. I just, I'm looking at this as a huge case study. It's a science project, basically. The way people are saying, oh, those who aren't vaccinated should die. I'm like, wow, you really chose violence today. Or the anti-vaxxers saying we're all sheeps for getting a shot. Okay, I get it. This is very polarizing. Everyone's opinionated, but why do we always have to go to an ism? Don't we have enough isms as it is? It's just a little bit much for me. So we're going to still see a lot more of that this year. Next year. I don't even know if this is a prediction or a forecast as much as it is a hope that will be done all of these waves and phases and stages by 2024. Things will never be as it was. I don't believe in a new normal either, but I do think that we'll start to see some plateauing around 2024. Statistically, they say that pandemics last five to 10 years. So that's me being optimistic, because by that margin, if the math is math thing, it's looking like 2026 or 2030. Let's hope it ain't it. But uh, yeah, there's we're gonna need to have a lot more patience with one another. I have to say this, this is not really a prediction, but I find it interesting that a lot of people are animated about people not getting the second shot or the booster or whatever it may be. But what about all the people who want to in developing countries get the first shot? But because developed countries are sending them nearly expired shots, they can't get it. So what's the world if one person has four, but then a whole bunch of other people have none? that want them, because I'm not talking about the people who don't want to get it. I'm not trying to force anything on anyone. How are you supposed to stop a virus from mutating if we're not all on the same page and plane? I'm just saying, I just, I just wanted to throw that in there. I'm not an epidemiologist, I'm not a virologist, I'm not an etiologist, so I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. It's just, that's how my thought process works. Round four or five, I don't even know, but my final prediction for now, if you want, I can come back with a round two, is that at the end of every year, there's gonna be a super potent 
powerful, panic-driven new variant. Last year was Delta. This year, it's the Ohm. I don't know why everyone's calling it the Omarion. He didn't want no smoke. He didn't ask for this. When his parents named him Omarion however many years ago, they were going for supernova, not super virus. I mean, there's already buzzes about the one they found in France. I don't know if that's going to be the one they're still talking about when this year's over. But as if a Christmas gift none of us asked for, there's going to be that one at the end of year that everyone's focused on. That's my prediction. I could be wrong. And like I said, whether you fall on one side, either side, or more in the middle, keep it respectful. That's all I can ask. I think the saddest part about this time is how we found a way to be divisive yet again. So on that note, I'm going to wrap up this video. I mean it every time, but I mean it more in these ones than any other ones. Stay safe. Stay sane. Stay blessed. Love and later.